the public access facilities in Long Beach were shut down by the city to be reopened by an influential organization with foundation funding and support from the city. So we took our cameras and interviewed Derek Simpson, the executive director of the Community Action Partnership in Long Beach. He is attempting to reestablish public access television through the sponsorship of various civic groups. I started brainstorming. I thought, you know, in the state of California alone, there are 40 or 60, I think it's more closer to 60 community action agencies, and I wonder how many public access operations there are in the state. And I'm sure that every place there's a community action agency, there's a public access operation. So now my vision is to show community action agencies how they can leverage working with public access operations to get the word out about services, about programs, about community engagement. And if we can do it in the state of California, uh, we can do it in the nation. We want to make sure we got quality programming and, and we remind them that, you know, we can't censor. Everybody has to have the opportunity. So I think the middle ground is that a word that I'm learning more about and that's curating a certain block of time where we can make sure that we have more control over that content because as the operators, we will make sure that there's a good mix of the best that we can offer Long Beach. So when those naysayers say, why public access? We can say, check it out between five and eight to see the best of. Curating? It doesn't sound like censorship, or does it? The stations have said they will not air, cannot air religious material. So it is declined. The public access facilities are supposed to be available to everybody. How can a station deny access to a religious program? No channel has ever given me in writing that they will not accept religious programming. And the supposed separation of church and state isn't the only issue where public access stations have refused programming. Well, my producer w is sponsored by the Salvation Army in Torrance and the new ruling that a sponsored, non-profit sponsored producer may only produce material for that non-profit has uh, elim eliminated our relationship as far as production. Well, this new, new rule is implemented by the manager at the cable television channel. Doesn't that sound like censorship? It certainly doesn't represent the spirit of public access. This is an example of the hold that government-run channels have over people who want to produce content. It is important to note that the freedom to produce content is as free as the government officials will allow it to be. You can see this program in its entirety on our website by becoming a Full Disclosure Insider, or you can purchase a DVD. Full Disclosure will continue to bring you the news behind the news.